Hi friends and families, it's Miss Natalie. Today's literacy activity is going to be kind of a mixture of the game memory as well as just a um, simple exercise in letter matching, uppercase letter matching. Um, for this activity, you will need your magnetic letters A through I, as well as um, letter flashcards A through I, and you can use um, the flashcards, you can um, pull them off your ring that you got in your NTI kit. You can use any letter flashcards you have hanging around. I like these big, blocky, um, bold ones, but the ones on the ring are great. And if you wanted to extend it even more, you could make your own um, flashcards A through I or have your child write them. And that would be a great way to practice uppercase letter writing and recognition as well. So. We are going to go ahead, go ahead and get started with the activity. The first thing you're going to do is lay out all your letters and then lay your flashcards out face down on the table so you can't see what letter they are um, in maybe rows of three or less. So I'm going to show you what that looks like right now. All right, I have my flashcards laying face down in rows of three. They are not in alphabetical order, so this doesn't say A, B, C, so I don't know where it, um, all the letters are hiding, but I do have my magnetic letters right here. So I'm what I'm gonna do is pick up a magnetic letter and I have letter G. So I am going to overturn the letter and see if it's a match. Is that a match? No, that's B. So then I'm gonna flip it back over. No, that's D. Hmm. G? No, that's H. Ooh, it's kind of curved. It kind of looks like, oh, is that G? Nope, that's C. And it's kind of like the game of memory. E, that's not it. Miss Natalie, it's hiding from you. I, that's not G. A, F, G! I think it was the last one that I turned over. So that is a match. So what I'm gonna do is just leave that magnetic letter right on top of it and move to pick my next letter. So I have letter H. Hmm, I wonder if I can remember where it was. Do you remember where it was? If you remember where it was, point to your screen. Point to it on your screen. I don't think I remember. Is that H? No, that's I, although they are the same color, right? They're both red. H, H, I found it. It was so sneaky. All right, so then I'm gonna leave my H right there, just like I did my G, and move on to my next letter. Let's pick A. Oh, and I remember where A was, because this is part of the game, is using your uh, really strong memory. And I remember that A was the, this one right here, eh, eh, A, and there's A. All right, now I'm looking for I. Was it this one? No, that's E. There it is. Letter I. Okay, and I have C. Hmm, do you remember where it is? Is it here or is it here? I think it's here. I'm right. Letter C. Okay, we're getting down to the last couple of ones. We're about halfway there. D. I think it's either this one or this one. What do you guys think? Do you remember where D went? I think it's this one. D. E, that one was easy. He was right here. He was in the corner. E, okay, the last two, I need B. Was it this one? 
No, that's F, so it's not that one. So that means it would must be which one? Which one have we have have we not turned over yet? You're right. B. Ooh, and the colors match too. They're both blue. B -b blue. B for blue. I love that. And the last one is F. F, and it has only one spot to go. And we know that that is F. Yay, we match all the letters. So this is just a simple game you can play however many times you want um, and get comfortable with that matching uppercase letters and also strengthening that uh, memory. So have fun guys and we will see you on the next one. Bye.